Hello friends, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. So on that note, let's start this video. Before that, please watch the video till the end without skipping. Because if you skip the video, you may miss some content or if I change any answer, you may miss those change. So do watch the video till the end. And moving on to the this video, it is about week 5 assignment solutions for air pollution and control course. So let's see the first question. The equation used in the mobile model for estimating the hot running emissions per unit di distance EX in a freeway and arterials is given. So the equation for first question. The solution is first option that is EX equal to SCF of BER plus EO. That means basic emission rate plus emission offset. It is plus symbol. I mean, uh, we have to add those two factors. Moving on to the second question. Which of the following limitations are easier or are associated with the EMPA? Vehicular Emission Inventory Model. So, for second question, uh, the answer is all the three statements are correct. So the answer is fourth option that is 1, 2 and 3. And moving on to the third question, the gains model is an integrated assessment model dealing with cost and potential for air pollution control and greenhouse gas mitigation and assessing policy interactions. The gains stands for, they are asking the abbreviation of GAINS. So what is GAINS uh, full form? So it is Greenhouse Gas and Air Pollution Interactions and Synergies. So mark second option as correct answer for third question. And moving on to the fourth one. Emissions of which which of the following air pollutants is not estimated by the gains model so not estimated by the gains model first of all let us know what uh, what are estimated by gains model we can estimate nh3 voc and pm so the other one is which is not estimated by gains model is heavy metals so mark first option friends uh, if you want to suggest any change in the given solutions please ask me in the comment section so we'll try to give the best solution i think every question is almost 100 percent correct uh, but if you think the otherwise you can comment in the comment section and moving on to the fifth question there are emissions of various pollutants and ghgs from agricultural activities which of the following ghgs is released by Livestock's enteric fermentation and rice cultivation. So, for fifth question, the answer is third option that is CH4, it is also called methane. So, mark third option CH4, correct answer for fifth question. And moving on to the sixth one. Which of the following equations is used to estimate the CH4 emissions from enteric fermentation? So, sixth question. How do we calculate CH4 em emissions? CH4 emissions equals number of prof animals into emission factor of CH so it is third option so mark third option as correct answer for sixth question moving on to the seventh one which of the following sectors covers emissions from the activities such as cooking heating and captive power generation in hotels or offices 
shopping malls hospitals and crematoriums so which sector covers all these activity emissions so the sector is commercial sector so mark first option as correct answer for seventh question and moving on to eighth one the general equation for calculating the emissions from the residential or commercial sector is product of they are asking which two factors should be multiplied in order to get uh, the equation in order to calculate the emissions from residential or commercial sector so the first one is fuel consumption fc fuel consumption and the other one is emission factor that is ef so the answer you will get is second option fuel consumption is into product of emission factor it will give the emissions so mark second option as correct answer for eighth question moving on to the ninth one what are the applications of remote sensing in air quality management so for the ninth question the answer is <clears throat> each and every statement given here is uh, is correct so the answer is fourth option that means 1 2 3 and 4 every statement is is an application of remote sensing in air quality management and moving on to the final question of this assessment that is 10th question which expresses the quantity of light removed from a beam by scattering or absorption by aerosols during its path through the atmosphere so they are asking which what is the term we can express this as quantity of light removed from a beam by the scattering or absorption by aerosols during its path during the atmosphere so the answer for 10th question is aerosol optical depth that is third option is correct answer for 10th and the final question of this assessment so friends these are the solutions for week 5 air control air pollution and control course hope this video is helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and share to your friends before the submission moment once again please uh, watch the comment section to get the updated answer if any otherwise every solution is correct for this maximum so for further more videos like this please keep supporting our channel until the next video which goodbye thank